this thing here. How did you do it in one bite? It's just three already. Yeah. Everything <laughs> bad for you comes from South Australia. <laughs> So, as well as wine, Portuguese tarts, fruit, vegetables, cheese, meats, pizza, pork rolls. What else is Adelaide famous for? Good morning, travellers. Morning. Welcome to Adelaide, city of wine, food, chocolate, chocolate, <laughs> and churches. We're off looking for the market. Adelaide Central Market is easy to get to on Grote Street in the city centre and is South Australia's most visited tourist attraction with more than 8.5 million visitors every year. I thought it might have been Central Hall, but there it is, it's Federal Hall. Federal Hall, Central Market. Established in 1869, the market has woven itself into the fabric of the city, tracing its roots back to a time when fresh produce and a vibrant culture became the heart of Adelaide. Even if you weren't hungry, you'd be hungry now. <laughs> the market is Adelaide's premier food destination of gourmet, multicultural cuisine and fresh produce, and is a cultural cornerstone steeped in history and brimming with life. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you have to do the next one. No, I'll just take it off. <laughs> yeah. oh. That's dessert. It's a very plump, juicy, sweet strawberry with chocolate. Match made in heaven, that one. How did you do it in one bite? This is three already. <laughs> Throughout its history, the market has been a meeting place, a hub of commerce and a cultural melting pot where visitors and locals alike gather to experience an exquisite tapestry of flavours, aromas and traditions. Everything is saying, eat me. It's <laughs> <laughs> got the crunchy rice, mm. yum. Oh, that's right. Go for it. <laughs> we met on the train. <laughs> oh, lovely. Go for it. Fungi fun. Mushrooming. What else can I say? <laughs> Very descriptive. Thanks. Thank you. Wow. That is funky goodness. That's the smallest I have. Eleven dollars. Yum. The best thing here. We tasted that first, the coleslaw, which adds freshness to the meat. And the bread's really nice and crusty and light. It's even got salad. Oh, balanced, yeah. Mm. Cheers. Portuguese tart mm. for the win. It's an awesome market. It just feels so chill here. It's like Nashiki. Yeah. Try a few bits and pieces and get a really cheap lunch. Check out Nashiki market. Well, that was surprising and worth doing. Yeah. It's worth coming to Adelaide just to go to the market. It's a quick walk from the centre of the city. So, as well as wine, Portuguese tarts, fruit, vegetables, cheese, meats, pizza, pork rolls. What else is Adelaide famous for? Chocolate. Nestled within Adelaide's historic Beehive Building stands the original Haig's Chocolate Store, a heritage gem since its establishment in 1915. Haig's are known for their bars, but I always come here for their chocolate frogs. They've got milk peppermint pear, milk strawberry pink. They always give you a taster every time. This one's a chocolate maraschino cherry, which is a Christmas exclusive. Chocolate ganache, cherry, a little bit of liqueur, not too strong. Venturing beyond the city, we make the short journey to the Haig's Factory Outlet Store where the secrets of chocolate making come to life. For over a century, Haig's has been synonymous with craftsmanship and quality, delighting chocolate enthusiasts with their delectable creations. There's milk peppermint. <laughs> it's as big as your head. <laughs> Within the factory walls, their free tour offers a behind the scenes glimpse into the meticulous process of creating Haig's renowned handmade chocolates. 
There you go. Much. You're very welcome. Thank you, Catherine. You're very Thank welcome. You very much. Thank you. I'm going to get a basket for you. Oh, no, or a trolley. I, no. <laughs> I told you about South Australia and Adelaide being the place for chocolate. And everything bad everything. for it. Everything <laughs> bad for you comes from South Australia. <laughs> Yeah, it's well worth coming out here just to do the little factory tour. Lots of samples, lots of tasty bits. As a diabetic, I highly recommend coming to Hague's. <laughs> As a chocoholic and chocolate connoisseur, I highly recommend coming to Hague's. A little bit blowy. Today we're leaving the city behind to explore the hills of Adelaide, our first stop being the highest point in Adelaide, Mount Lofty. At 710 metres high and only 15 k's from downtown Adelaide, it's a quick and easy drive up the southeastern freeway winding through the beautiful southern Lofty ranges. The summit is free to enter and offers gorgeous panoramic views across the city and the Adelaide Plains below. Good morning travellers. Good morning. From the summit. Of Mount Lofty. Nice and fresh up here. Nice view. Well, it's worth the quick drive up the hill to come and see it. Just make sure you pack an extra layer. Far more hospitable than Mount Wellington in Tasmania. <laughs> How's the weather? Do what you got to do. Hurry. Hurry. <laughs> the picturesque and unique German enclave of Harndorf is located only 17 kilometres from Mount Lofty, or 26 kilometres from downtown Adelaide, making it around a 30 minute drive from the city. It's also easily accessible by the Route 854 public bus from downtown that costs $4.25 and takes around 45 minutes. It's got a spot. Awesome. And even the shade and everything. Easy peasy. <coughs> Mine I travelers. Don't know. <laughs> There's quite a big German influence in South Australia, which I'll explain right now. In 1838, seeking religious freedom, 200 emigrants left the German province of Prussia to board the ship Zebra. The ship, led by Danish captain Dirk Hahn, arrived in South Australia where he helped the settlers in procuring the land for the village in 1839. The settlers named the town after Captain Hahn, with Dorf meaning village in German. Makes me want to go all Clark Griswold and get my lederhosen on, <laughs> start a fight. Over the years, Harndorf has evolved into a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors with its quaint charm, German-style bakeries, pubs, and unique shops. How are you two? How are you doing? Where are you going this afternoon? No, I'm doing a this afternoon, no. are you? You're safe. Don't worry. It tastes like a sausage to me. Cheese. <laughs> the red cabbage is very mild. Your snack is a giant warm pretzel. It's really light. It's got a bit of salt. You can have it with butter and mustard, but I'm just going to have it au naturel. It's not Dijon. I thought it might be Dijon. It's not American mustard. German mustard. It's German mustard. Probably a kick to it.
Handorf invites you to step back in time, experience the fusion of German heritage and Australian landscapes, and create your own memories of this captivating town, a true gem in the heart of the Adelaide Hills. but it's just, trust me, it's sensational. Go figure. Go figure. <laughs> 